I'm glad to see so many faces here on a cold, cold spring day. My younger son here, Weston, is freezing, but he was still like he wanted to be here with me. And it's good because I want I want to have this young man grow up understanding what his what his mother's been fighting for all along. You know, he's he's gonna have he he's gonna have daughters maybe one day, girlfriend, wife. And he's, I want him to understand that those rights are for just as much for every woman in his life as much as they are for him as well. Not just his mom, but every woman he's going to encounter in his life. And yeah, I, I am the co-chair of the Peace Education Center, and I was uh, the founder of the Women's Rights Task Force, and was lucky enough that when I had the idea, I had Kathy, who helped me get it off the ground. Kathy was just up here before me. But I'm also honored here, or honored just to be here. Uh, just to see how many people are here to fight for basic rights. And I'm glad to see it's not just women out here fighting for these basic rights. I mean, that's, that's exactly what I want to see. And that's why I got this little guy here with me right now. Yes, yes. <laughs> but it's also, I mean, it's so easy for us to forget what our foremothers had fought for. I never thought I'd see the day that I would be fighting my grandmother's fight. Because when I jumped into this, the, the feminist movement, I was fighting to continue forward. I'm shocked that I'm fighting backwards for some basic, basic rights that I took for granted. They were here. You know, I mean, I never really realized what had been fought for until I now see what's at stake now. And I mean, just many rights, the birth control, divorce rights, and even just legal recourse for domestic violence are all things that I took, took for granted and now see like, how the House wants to fight the, the Violence Against Women Act, and or even just how our basic reproductive rights are now being challenged. I mean, these are basic things that I expect to keep. I never thought I'd see the day that I was going to be fighting for this. I mean, I'm not old enough, really, I guess, to remember a lot of these fights. But I do understand that women's rights, even now, I mean, we're not quite there yet. Because my son and I, and even my older son who's not here because his girlfriend has a birthday today, so he didn't want to come. But we are domestic violence survivors. And we spent three and a half years in the court system uh, just trying to get through our domestic violence case and fighting through a divorce that was taking a very long time. And the way the court systems work is that the cases are under the children's names. So if the, the perpetrator doesn't want to follow court orders, we are all trapped in the court system. And he did this very intentionally. And I started to understand really how women's rights were not quite where they need to be going through this. And after that, having to sit in the welfare office, being what, like, okay, the women that Republicans hate the most are the single mothers and especially the poor ones. And I was one of those. So... I understood very well, very, very well, that I, I did not have rights that a lot of other people had. I was fighting just to go back to school, asking the welfare office to give me daycare. This shouldn't have even been a fight, but it was a fight. So when I got out of the court system and went back to school to study social sciences to figure out why this happens to women, I started fighting for these basic rights and joined the Peace Education Center. And after being there for a little while, started the Women's Rights Task Force, especially because when I saw what's going on, this is really a war against women, that I knew it was time. I had sat, let it sit on the back burner far too long, and I am just glad to see that I am not the only one letting this stuff sit on the back burner anymore. We're going to keep moving forward. But I mean, I have to thank all of you for being here. And I mean... Not just the ones that had to go through some kind of injustice to realize what is going on. I know there are, pro there are a lot of you out there that do it just because you have compassion and you see the injustice. You didn't have to experience it to know it's wrong. And so I'm glad that you're all here fighting for women that were like me without having to go through it yourself. And I'm also glad to see the, like a generation from before who actually fought for the rights that I did get to take advantage of. I was able to get a, a divorce. I was able to have custody of my children because of the battle that was fought before. I was able to have a choice, just a reproductive choice, and note that I was not going to have any more children because of the battle that was fought before. And I was able to actually have legal recourse in the court system for domestic violence because of the generation before that fought for me to have it. 
And I'm also glad to see that there are men here who understand how important it is. And I mean, that is what I'm glad to be up here thanking people for. I mean, now it's several generations coming together to move this forward, not only to progress like women's issues, but to fight for what we already have. Because what we have now is not enough, and it's not, it's not something that we should be losing. This, this is not even equal rights yet. We shouldn't be fighting to just keep some very basic rights. So I'm glad to see all these faces out here. And I mean, it, it, it's, it's amazing. Just, I mean, the only reason why I was able to go back to school and actually be on this podium right now is because of the battles that were fought, fought already. So I'm glad to see all you all out here. And again, thank you for being here. And if you, if you want to join the Women's Rights Task Force, Kathy had mentioned that we have a, a movie on May 19th. Uh, the, the purity myth. So please, if you have any interest in joining, everyone's welcome. And Weston, you want to say, want to give a wave, want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> All right, thank you.